all of these systems can be affected with a chronic thyroid condition. By addressing any problems with your adrenal glands, your blood chemistry, or your gut function, we can actually help your body heal faster. The complete metabolic panel also allows us to check your blood glucose levels since glucose and oxygen are needed by the brain to function properly. Okay? We also run an extremely uh, comprehensive thyroid panel. Like I mentioned before, we're not going to just um, check your TSH level and tell you whether or not you're hypothyroid. We want to know exactly what type of thyroid condition you have. So we're going to do an in-depth analysis of your thyroid levels. So first of all, we will check your TSH. Um, this is the messenger that's sent from your pituitary gland in the brain to your thyroid, thyroid, which tells your thyroid to release more hormones. We're also going to check your free T3. This is a, uh, an important hormone produced by the thyroid gland, and it's considered to be the more biologically active hormone, um, which I mentioned previously. We're also going to check uh, free T4. Now, this is also an important hormone that's produced in the thyroid gland, and we want to know the levels that, that exist. We check your thyroid binding globulin, which is also called TBG. This test measures the amount of proteins in the blood that actually transport the thyroid hormones to your cells. Elevated testosterone levels can lower your TBG levels, and elevated estrogen levels can raise your TBG levels. Both of these can produce a hypothyroid state. We'll check your thyroid antibodies, TGB and TPO. I check these especially in suspected cases of an autoimmune thyroid disorder like Hashimoto's. We check your total T4. This is a reflection of how much total T4 hormone there is out there in the blood. Uh, the free thyro the thyroxin index. This is an estimate of how much thyroxin is in the blood. Your resin T3 uptake. On this test measures the unsaturated binding sites on your thyroid proteins. You see, all of these thyroid markers are absolutely necessary to properly diagnose which of those thyroid patterns you have. And this must be determined if you want to properly treat your thyroid condition. We also check your adrenal stress index. Now, what, what is the adrenal stress index? This is a, a salivary, salivary test, which is much like DNA, DNA testing. Uh, the adrenal glands sit right above your kidneys, and they're your stress organs, meaning that they react to stress. So if you have been under or currently are under stress, this test is really a must. Okay? We're also going to run immune panels, which are extremely important for you. Um, you could be suffering from an autoimmune condition. Again, an autoimmune thyroid is called Hashimoto's. This is when your immune system begins attacking your thyroid tissue. This is the most common cause of hypothyroidism in America. The important thing that I want to say here is that if you have an autoimmune thyroid and you are only receiving thyroid replacement therapy, your condition will continue to get worse. You see, the problem in your body is not your thyroid gland, it is that your immune system is destroying your thyroid gland. The longer you go without getting your immune system working properly, the more your thyroid gland will be destroyed. And as a consequence of this, the more thyroid replacement therapy you're going to end up needing. Okay? Looking at, uh, at your immune panel allows us to determine what is driving that autoimmune response in your body. And this is very important to do. This is why the immune panels um, are really so important. And we don't just run those TPO and TGB thyroid antibodies that we talked about earlier. So there are two parts to the immune system. You have Th1 and Th2. Uh, interleukin-2 and TNF-alpha equal your Th1. Th1 is your T cells. T cells are, are your army that attacks and cleans up afterwards. They include your helper T cells, your suppressor T cells, your natural killer cells, your, uh, your, your regulatory T cells, and your macrophages. You also have interleukin-4 and interleukin-2, which are your Th2. Your Th2 are your B cells. Um, they tell the, uh, the T cells what to attack. Okay? So we run multiple tests to measure these immune markers. Um, some of the tests that we use include your TNB, lymphocyte, and natural killer cell panel. We're also going to test your interleukin-2, your TNF-alpha, your inter interleukin-4, and your interleukin-10 levels, um, your natural killer cell, cell activity. We want to determine if you have an active antigen or an immune dysregulation problem. Active antigens are parasites, bacteria, viruses, yeast, fungi, uh, foods, chemicals, and heavy metals. Um, and many other things that your immune system is actively trying to remove from your system. So the best indicator for an active antigen as the cause of your abnormal dominance is your helper suppressor ratio on the T and B cell panel. 
The TMB cell panel can also be called the CD4 to CD8 ratio. The closer that your ratio comes to 2.5 or above, the more likely it is that you're dealing with an active antigen that your body is trying to remove. If the ratio is below 1.2, then you're most likely dealing with a dysregulation problem. We also uh, check intestinal permeability. This test is used to determine if, if you suffer from what's called leaky gut syndrome. Leaky gut describes a condition of, uh, of altered or damaged bowel lining that can be caused by antibiotic use, toxins that you're exposed to, poor diet, um, parasite infections. Um, these, these infections can lead to permeability of the gut wall to toxins, microbes, undigested food, waste, and larger than normal macro macromolecules. It's been proposed that these substances affect the body directly, and then others postulate sometimes that an immune reaction to these substances is what promotes problems. We also run hormone panels. We can check your hormone panels to determine if you suffer from low testosterone if you're a male or low estrogen progesterone levels if you're a female. Symptoms related to de decreased hormone levels can include depression, fatigue, mental fogginess, mood swings, hot flashes, sweating attacks, weight gain, and, um, and just decreased physical stamina. Once we have, a, have, a, have assessed all these tests and, and assessed the metabolic component of your thyroid disorder, we can then perform specific neurologic testing. When your thyroid gland is dysfunctional, especially in the case of an autoimmune reaction, um, for an extended period of time, it leads to increased damage of brain tissue as well. You can begin, begin to suffer neurologic consequences as a result of your thyroid issue. So it's vitally important that, we, that after we have supported your thyroid disorder, disorder appropriately, that we check to find if there have been any neurologic ramifications. So if we examine the way your brain is working and find areas that have been affected, we perform in our office specific treatment protocols to rehabilitate those areas of, of tissue damage in the brain. Some of the treatments that I use, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but some of the treatments that I use in my office to accomplish this include oxygen therapy. Okay, oxygen is fuel for your brain and your nervous system. Your brain and your nervous system need two things to survive, fuel and activation. Fuel comes in the form of oxygen and glucose. By using oxygen, we can actually help you, your body and your brain heal faster. We also use exercise with oxygen therapy, which actually will increase the firing of the brain at the same time as we supplement it with its nutritional demands. By increasing the firing of specific regions of the brain, we're able to help you with your, um, your, your neurologic problem. We also use what's called brain-based therapy. These are um, specific methods that we utilize to stimulate the damage or poorly performing regions of your brain. Some examples of, of the treatments that we use in our office for, uh, for the brain-based therapy are vibration and what we call sensory stimulation. Vibration therapy um, fires the back part of this brain here called the cerebellum. The cerebellum is responsible for your balance, your coordination of movement. Um, another function of the cerebellum is the control of your spinal muscles. Okay, so it holds all of your spinal curvature in place, which supports, uh, supports your weight against gravity. When we stimulate um, the body through, through, through vibration, we fire off the cerebellum through the dorsal spinal cerebellar path path pathways. We also use different sensory stimulation, um, such as calorics, olfactory stimulation, um, different things that target different regions of the brain. Now, um, we can successfully treat you by using these proper neurologic and natural nutritional protocols. We want to make specific nutritional protocols uh, for you based on the lab work that we talked about earlier. And what I love about this is it's black and white. There's really no guesswork. So we test you, we find out what the true cause of your thyroid condition is, we, and we give your body the nutritional support it needs and the neurologic support it needs. So in closing, I want to ask you a few questions. Number one, how has your thyroid condition affected your relationships, your finances, your family, and other activities that you love to do? Number two, what does it cost you, cost you in time, in money, in happiness, and in your sleep? Number three, where do you picture yourself in the next one to five years if this problem is not taken care of? And number four, what is it worth to you if, we, if I could improve your thyroid condition? Now, if you've taken the time to watch this video, I know you or someone you deeply care about is being affected by a thyroid disorder. Please, take the time to call my office. Set up a time to come and meet with me so that I can determine if you qualify for care at my office. I truthfully do not accept all cases. I only accept those cases that I feel I can help and that I feel um, need my help.